Hello everyone, we've got our PC desktop tower here. We're going to open this thing up and get started in the installation of a power supply. I've got my anti-static mat down and I've got my anti-static wrist strap connected to it. So we're going to be good to go to get started. So I'm going to take this computer tower and we're going to place it on its face. Put it face side down. And by doing this, what we're going to see here on the back is going to be this huge slot. This is our power supply slot. Now, right now we've got nothing there, so this is where we're going to install our power supply, which we have ready for us, sitting on our mat. To start, step one is to open the right side cover of the computer case. So I'm going to put this thing back down on its right side, and I'm going to use my Torx screwdriver to unscrew this screw holding on this computer case. I'll slide off the cover and we'll be able to take a look at the inside of our computer tower. Now at this point in time we have an empty computer tower. We have nothing installed at the moment. All we have are some USB and audio headers attached to the front of the case. If I put the case front side down, we can view these adapter card slots here right above the power supply slot on the back. Our power supply unit, known as a PSU, that's what we're about to install. So let's chat about the PSU. Now, right now with this PSU, it's got so many watts. This is a 450 watt power supply. And on this PSU, it is currently slept to 115 volts, the US standard. If you look closely at the PSU, we can actually take a look at more details of it, including form factor for the PSU. But that's not for us at this moment. Now, for us, make sure you plan ahead and choose the correct power supply unit for your computer build, especially if your CPU and choice of graphics cards are going to pull a lot of power. Now, step two, we need to align the screw holes of our power supply with this power supply slot. So we have the power supply slot here. I'm going to take my power supply and put it into play, and we can take a look at those screw holes that are about to line up and see if we can lock this in. Now my case is really cool because it actually has a locking mechanism that I can let go of the power supply. My screw holes are aligned and it is currently locked into place. Now we need to take the action of screwing it in. If you look closely, you'll see those screw holes are currently lined up and we can even get a closer view based off of my camera. There we go. So what we wanna do now is lock those screws into play. So I'll take four of my power supply screws and we get to put this thing in and be done. All four screws are installed. The power supply is not going anywhere. Hopefully you chose the correct wattage for your internal parts. Otherwise you'll be switching this thing out in the very near future. Thanks for watching our power supply install.